<laughs> to wake up. Uh, uh, well, as you said, uh, Steve uh, and everyone, my name is Will Robertson. Not to be confused with Will Robinson. I know that some of you may be uh, old enough to remember the late great TV show Lost in Space. And, you know, I just found out yesterday, uh, everyone and Steve, that the uh, guy who played the part of the robot, the person that was inside the robot, he passed away yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, I believe he was. His name, his name was Bob May. But uh, anyway, I understand that you're going to learn a lot about the moon and about our future uh, endeavors in space. And I have a quick uh, PowerPoint to share with you. And as you heard, I do uh, what Steve does, but uh, for the states of Alabama and uh, Tennessee and parts of uh, uh, Louisiana. And uh, so let's get right into the PowerPoint. And if I can uh, share my screen with you all, and you, I should be. While you're doing that, Will, I just want to mention you notice with Skype, of course, NASA doesn't endorse a product. There are other products out there like Google and other programs that can do the same thing. We just happen to use Skype. We find it works pretty well. And uh, but I want you to also notice that uh, not only can you see the person, but the other person or whoever you're connected to can also uh, show PowerPoint and videos over Skype. So if I'm talking to your students, and it takes a second for Dr. Robertson to get it PowerPoint pulled up, but if I'm talking to your students, I can talk to them live, show them images, show video clips, whatever the uh, tendency may be. You have it? I got it. Uh, yeah, uh, everyone, Steve, is so correct there. Uh, NASA never endorses a product, but uh, uh, we're using Skype today because it's a, it's a fairly robust uh, video conferencing software. And uh, it's my mother-in-law. Uh, I'll just hang up. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you laugh like you know her. Well, you know, teachers, you probably know more about the moon than what you think you know. Uh, you know, if you just look at this image of the moon, you can see that there's two uh, things that really stand out. Uh, what are the two things that you see here? I'm on a video conference. I'm sorry. Don't know who that was, really. Uh, who can tell me what they what stands out in this in this image? Anything. Dark and light. I don't know if you heard. It. I heard that. Uh, uh, dark and light. There's there's shades of darkness and shades of lightness, and uh, actually the darker areas are, are where uh, the areas are flat. Uh, these are the maria. In fact, uh, Galileo detected this area, and he uh, actually believed he was looking at oceans or seas. So that's why uh, he referred to this area as the maria. And the lighter areas are the higher elevations. These are where your mountains are located and so forth. So you really actually know more than what you think you do, and your students do as well. And you know, this is where the KWLH still comes in. You know, uh, 15, 20 years ago, this was real popular in, in teaching, and it still is. And it's coming back uh, even stronger than it was before, the, the indications that I see out in the field. Uh, but uh, when I was in teacher education over in Louisiana, uh, we just uh, were taught about the KWL. But now, of course, as you many of you know, that the H is, uh, you know, how do we discover more about what we're trying to find out about a subject? So, you know, the KWLH is still a useful tool, especially when it comes to lunar science. Uh, 